January, Robert Stigwood, Entertainment Manager, 81. Pat Harrington, Jr., Actor, 86. Troy Shondell, Singer, 76. Kitty Callan, Singer, 94. Angus Scrim, Actor, 89. David Bowie, Musician, 69. David Margulies, Actor, 78. Alan Rickman, Actor, 69. Reen Angeli, Singer, 73. Dan Haggerty, Actor, 74. Noreen Corcoran, Actress, 72. Glenn Frey, Singer, 67. Abe Vigoda, Actor, 94. Paul Canther, Singer, 74. Mike Minor, Actor, 75. February, Bob Elliott, Comedian, 92. Maurice White, Musician, 74. Joe Alasky, Voice Actor, 63. Joe Dowell, Pop Singer, 76. Antonin Scalia, Supreme Court Justice, 79. George Gaines, Actor, 98. Vanity, Actress, 57. Harper Lee, Novelist, 89. Yolan Fox, Singer, 87. Sonny James, Country Music Singer, 87. Lenny Baker, Musician, 69. Tony Burton, Actor, 78. George Kennedy, Actor, 91. Jill Hill, Actor, 84. March, Joey Martin Feek, 40. Nancy Reagan, First Lady of the United States, 94. Sir George Martin, producer for the Beatles, 90. Robert Horton, actor, 91. Keith Emerson, musician, 71. Adrienne Corey, actress, 85. Frank Sinatra, Jr., singer, 72. Larry Drake, actor, 66. Joe Santos, actor, 84. Peter Brown, actor, 80. Rob Ford, politician, 46. Richard Bradford, actor, 81. Fife Dog, singer, 45. Joe Garagiolia, baseball player, 90. Ken Howard, actor, 71. Earl Hamner, Jr., writer, 92. Gary Shanling, comedian, 66. Mother Angelica, Franciscan Nun, 92. James Noble, actor, 94. Patty Duke, actress, 69. April, Merle Haggard, country music singer, 79. Ann Jackson, actress, 90. Doris Roberts, actress, 90. Victoria Wood, actress, 62. Prince, musician, 57. Lonnie McIntosh, guitarist, 74. Madeline Sherwood, actress, 94.
Billy Paul, singer, 81. May, William Schillert, actor, 93. Julius La Rosa, singer, 86. Morley Safer, CBS News anchor, 84. Alan Young, actor, 96. Bert Kwok, actor, 85. Mike Barnett, singer, 89. June, Muhammad Ali, professional boxer, 74. Gordy Howe, hockey player, 88. Michu Mezaros, actor, 76. Ann Gilbert, actress, 87. Ronnie Claire Edwards, actress, 83. Joe Cox, British Labour Party member of the Parliament, 41. Ron Lester, actor, 45. Anton Yelkin, actor, 27. Bud Spencer, Italian actor, 86. Mac Rice, songwri songwriter, 82. Scotty Moore, guitarist, 84. Buddy Ryan, NFL football coach, 85. Pat Summit, NCAA basketball coach, 64. July, Michael Cimino, director, 77. Ellie Weisel, writer, producer, 87. Teddy Rooney, actor, 66. Caroline Aherin, actress, 52. Noel Neal, actress, 95. Danny Smith, musician, 67. Bonnie Brown, musician, 77. Gary Marshall, writer, producer, actor, 81. Jerry Dole, actor, 60. Gloria DeHaven, 91. August, David Huddleston, actor, 85. Rishi Martin, entertainer, 62. Pete Fountain, jazz mu musician, 86. Glenn Yarbrough, singer, 86. Michael Richard, chef, restauranter, 68. Kenny Baker, actor, 81. Fivush Finkel, actor, 93. Jack Riley, actor, 80. Stephen Hill, actor, 94. Gian Martin, model, 89. Marvin Kaplan, actor, 89. Gene Wilder, actor, 83. September, John Polito, actor, 65. Hugh O'Brien, actor, 91. James Stacy, actor, 79. Charmaine Carr, actress, 73. Bill Nunn, actor, 63. Gene Shepard, country music songwriter, 82. Jose Fernandez, baseball player, 24. Arnold Palmer, golfer, 87. Shimon Perez, statesman, 93. October, Tommy Ford, actor, 52. Kevin Meany, comedian, 60. Pete Burns, singer-songwriter, 57. Bobby V, singer, 73. Tammy Grimes, stage actress, 82. November. K. Star, singer, 
94. Janet Reno, Attorney General, 78. Leonard Cohen, Songwriter, 82. Robert Vaughn, Actor, 83. Leon Russell, Musician, 74. Gwen Nephil, Journalist, 61. Holly Dunn, Singer-Songwriter, 59. Florence Henderson, Actress, 82. Fidel Castro, Dictator, 90. Ron Glass, Actor, 71. Fritz Weaver, Actor, 90. Van Williams, Actor, 82. Jim Delegati, Created the Big Mac, 98. Keo Wolford, Actor, 49. Grant Tinker, Television Executive, 90. December, Don Kalfa, Actor, 76. Billy Chapin, Actor, 72. Greg Lake, Musician, 69. Joseph Mascolo, Actor, 87. John Glenn, Astronaut, 95. Jim Lowe, Singer, 93. Alan Thick, Actor, 69. Bernard Fox, Actor, 89. Craig Sager, Sports Reporter, 65. Zsa Zsa Gabor, Actress, 99. Gordy Tapp, Entertainer, 94. Michelle Morgan, French Actress, 96. Richard Adams, Author, 96. Rick Parfit, Musician, 68. Liz Smith, Actress, 96. George Michael, Singer-Songwriter, 53. Ricky Harris, Comedian, 54. George S. Irving, Actor, 94. Carrie Fisher, Actress, 60. What that was was a comprehensive list of all these celebrities that died here in 2016. Uh, chances are you don't know most of the names on that list, and that's okay. Honestly, you know, I don't either. But I figure since I'm going to make one of these videos of this type, uh, I might as well mention them all. You know, most people are just mentioning like 10 or 12, you know, uh, huge deaths. But I say, all of those are celebrities, and they all died, so they all made their contributions to society, um, whether it be music or movies or comedy. So why not just uh, mention them all? As I'm looking at this list, I'm not seeing a whole lot of people, and I know it sounds bad, and it's not the right thing to say, but I'm not, I'm not seeing a whole lot of people Maybe other than Gary Shandling, I really loved his comedy. I'm not seeing a lot of people that really, you know, bother me. Where, like, I'm losing sleep because this person's no longer with us. You know, maybe that's not the right thing to say. Because there's going to be many, many, many YouTubers making these videos. Uh, probably fake. Where they're, like, shedding tears over all these celebrities. People that they have never met before. Uh, and not that that's not genuine. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people whose Prince's, Prince's music touched a lot. Uh, a lot of people that were inspired by Muhammad Ali. But for these YouTubers to, to start bawling and crying like I've seen in a lot of videos, uh, it just doesn't seem genuine to me. Um... 
Yeah, there's very, very few celebrities that I feel a deep connection to where it would really, really bother me if they passed away or were killed or something like that. And again, I'm looking at this list and there's really no one on it. Uh, is it a shame? Especially, you know, on Christmas, George Michael died and, and yesterday Carrie Fisher died. You know, the princess is dead. Uh, I don't know. People come up to me, like, at work all day, and they were like, Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Princess Leia's gone! The princess is gone! And I'm like, the princess died? You know, because I'm thinking, like, the actual, like, princess. Right now, you know, the princess? But, but no, they're talking about Princess Leia. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Carrie Fisher. Then I'm like, well... She's, like, kind of old, right? Like, 60, 70, something like that. And that's something that I, I kind of look at when a celebrity dies. I look at how old they are and stuff like that. Because, like, Arnold Palmer, he was 90, okay? Some of these celebrities, like Gene Wilder, very old, they were up there. They were around that age to where people start dying. Like, you know... Chances are, when I'm up around, you know, 90 or something, or 100, I'm probably going to die, too. People die, okay? If you're listening to this, chances are you're going to die at some point. You're going to expire. Isn't that a crazy thought? Like, I wonder what's going to happen to this YouTube channel once I'm dead. You know, it'll just kind of, like, exist and just float around in nothingness. And people will discover it. Like, they're discovering, like, ancient tombs. You know, hundreds and hundreds of years from now. And they're like, what the fuck was this guy's deal? You know, he's insane. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's something to think about because now we have YouTube and we have uh, all these online sites... And hundreds of years from now, I wonder if they'll just be deleted or if they'll still exist. Will there be a YouTube in a couple hundred years? Probably not, but that's something to talk about for another day. I don't mean to ramble. But back to uh back to these deaths. So yeah, no none of these really none of these people really kind of bother me and affect me a lot. Now there are celebrities right now that if they if they died it would bother me. Like maybe maybe Jim Carrey. I'm a bit I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. Like if he he dropped dead, that would kind of like take me back a little bit. You know I would kind of be bothered by that. <clears throat> but I guess it, for me, I don't know if you're the same way or any of you listening. For me, if if it's somebody really young. Like, out of all those names on the list, um, probably the one that bothers me the most is that actor that was in Star Trek. Uh, Anton, Anton Yelkin. The guy whose Jeep uh, killed him. You know? The Jeep... Uh, I can't remember the story exactly, but it was like in a wrong... It was in Park, and then it, it moved. I don't want to go into the whole gory aspect of his death. But he was very young. So when someone that's very young dies, that, that kind of bothers me more. Because I feel like there's so much life left to live that they have. Uh, and you might say, well, George Michael, he died on Christmas. Uh, it makes me think of that George Michael song. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. And he's like, yeah, he had like a heart attack. Uh, he, he smoked crack. He smoked crack. So when rich and famous smoked crack. Carrie Fisher, she did drugs, right? People don't like to mention that. Not many people are focusing on that. I've seen when talking about her, they talk about how she's uh, was such a wonderful sex symbol. She was a great actress. She was a writer. But 
Not many people were mentioning that she was a druggie. Um. And okay, yeah, I've I've seen many videos today talking about the Illuminati. I'm reading something right now. Uh, Illuminati sacrifices, Prince, uh, Carrie Fisher, Harrison, uh, not Harrison Ford, um, George Michael. A month ago, Carrie Fisher came out, and this is why a lot of people think that the Illuminati <laughs> killed Carrie Fisher. A month ago. Carrie Fisher came out and uh, said that she had a three-month affair with Harrison Ford back in the late 70s, or was it the early 80s? When they were filming one of the Star uh, Wars movies, they had a toward affair. Uh, she, also mentioned, she also mentioned that uh, Harrison Ford really wasn't that good in the sack, so <laughs> that kind of might change your opinion of him, because uh, he was seen as like this, bit, this very, very handsome uh, leading man. So, it gives any of us hope that aren't like Harrison Ford uh, equality in our in our looks or our demeanor. That hey, you know what? He's a he's he's a lousy fuck. So it's kind of funny about that. A lot of people are thinking that she was killed by the Illuminati because she pissed off Harrison Ford, who's higher up in the Illuminati. Um. And it's not because that her heart just gave out because she did all those drugs. I think her heart just gave out. I don't think the Illuminati had anything to do with her death. Now, do I think that there is an Illuminati? Um, I think there is secret societies. I think there is a skull and bones. Uh, I remember a lot of the time President George Bush, he would for no reason give the devil horns uh, I'm not even saying that, that, oh, now I'm seeing a picture. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm like looking at some websites as I'm recording this, uh, Luminati conspiracy. And then they have a big red circle over this scene in, uh, the force awakens where Carrie Fisher is giving the devil horns when she's showing this younger girl something. It does look like the double horn, so I don't know. Maybe I take it back. Maybe it's all Illuminati. You know, no celebrities ever even die. They're just all killed. It's all the Illuminati. George Michael, yeah, he he died because his fucking heart couldn't take it. Same thing with Rick James. Their hearts exploded because of all the fucking coke and all the crack. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. Um, Keith Richards is still alive. I keep mentioning I keep mentioning that to people. Keith Richards, he sh should have been dead a long time ago, but whatever he's doing is working for him. You know, maybe drinking and smoking, maybe that's good for you. Coke though, Coke is bad. Um, man, this video is just a fucking rambling mess, and I apologize. Uh, but I had to make a video about this because so many people. Just coming up to me, just so sad. Like, the princess is gone, the princess is gone. The prince and the princess is gone. What a year! And I'm like, did you know Prince? Did you know Princess Leia? Some people don't even fucking know her real name. And I asked them, like, okay, what's her name? And then they're like, you know, Princess Leia. Yeah, but, like, the person, what, what's her name? And then I'm like, it shows that you don't really care about the people that died. You're just caring about the characters. Some people were just relieved that she completed all her filming for the next Star Wars movie. I'm like, are you fucking serious? You know, <laughs> you're talking about how sad you are that she's dead. But on the other side of it, you're just relieved that she's still be, still going to be in the next Star Wars movie. Uh... Sorry, I'm distracted reading more of this Illuminati shit. Um, oh yeah, she was sacrificed. <laughs> I can't believe this I'm reading. She's sacrificed, so the next Star Wars movie will be a big hit. I'll repeat that. Carrie Fisher was sacrificed, so the next Star Wars movie will be a big hit. Yeah, because it was going to bomb. It was going to bomb if they if the Illuminati didn't kill Carrie Fisher. Oh, wow. Jeez. But yeah, it's been a, a freaking huge year for celebrity deaths. 
and I almost didn't want to upload this today because we still have a couple days left in the year. I mean, shit, <laughs> you never know. A couple more might drop off. Uh, there's one in particular, okay? I might be a bad person for this. I'm not, I, I don't know. There's one celebrity in particular that I would really, really like to die this year. Just one. Just one. I wonder if self tanner poisoning is a thing. <laughs>